Hi, I'm Peter Kernström of Kernström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use the calendar browser application. As you see, we have a list here to the left, and though that list shows all the calendar lists within this SharePoint site. And you can use that to book any kind of resource. And this is just rooms, but it could be cars or, or any kind of resource, really. By looking at this list, you can get quite a bit of information. First of all, you have the availability. You can see that the gymnasium is in fact booked right now. That's what the red indicates and the green indicates that it's free. So the conference room A, you can indeed book that. It's for Sunday night here. If I go to conference room B, you see that it is indeed booked now. So that shows the correct information. But if I move these out of the way here, just move them like that, you'll see that now conference room B is indeed free. If I move it back, then it goes red again. So it's showing the live information as the room is being booked. And you can also hover over here and see the number of events and so on. By clicking on this info icon here, you can get a bit of information regarding this particular room. And uh, just close that by clicking OK and so on. And the low one here, let's see the low one also, there we go. So that's the main information panel here. So you get the status of the calendar and the description of the calendar. Moving on, we have this main calendar part showing, of course, this the selected calendar. So now I'm showing the lawn, and here we have that in week view, which is the default. But you can, of course, switch over to day view, month view, or agenda view. And each of these views are also controllable here by the date selector, where you can go to the next period. So this now, because I'm in a week mode, it moves to the next week. If I would be in month mode, it switched to the next month and so on to give me a really good overview. And of course, you can click on this to, to select a particular date that you want to see, and then you get into that. So that's how you navigate the dates. What you usually want to do with this application is, of course, book a resource. And it's very easy to do that. You simply go to the calendar that you want to book and click on the time where you want to book. So I'm just going to double click right now here at the lawn. So I'll have a general meeting there and then I'll select the category for it. And that is what controls the color of this event. So let's do that. And of course, you can set the time. You can set if it's an all day, you can put a description here. The description is a rich text field, so you can do formatting and you can use HTML coding and bullet points and numbering and even insert images for that. So I'm just going to save that now. And as you see now, that got saved here, the general meeting. And if I extend that meeting here into actual now, then you see that the lawn did indeed get booked for this time. I also want to show you the orders because you can add extra thing with your event here. If you, of course, you have supplies that somebody takes care of in your organization. So here I've just added some sample resources or supplies that you can order with your event. So for example, I can just add some coffees there, some cookies and uh, two projectors might actually be a bit much, so one projector is enough, and um, that updates, and that's of course it gets saved with the appointment. And if you notice here to the left, it doesn't have that sidebar. That sidebar there indicate that this event has an order with it. And as I showed before, you can drag and drop your events, you can change them, and also change the duration of an event. And if you drag it up here, then it becomes whole day meeting for that whole entire day and if you have longer events here you can just drag them out like that also to delete an event then you simply open it and click on delete and it will be gone so that concludes the usage demo of calendar browser thank you for watching this demo